Bismillah wa Today, on the afternoon, you are welcome to the 12th edition of our online mathematics class. We want to look at simultaneous equation. And you know that we have different method of solving simultaneous equation. Or yes, whenever you have two uh, two equation with two unknowns, you say the equation is said to be a simultaneous equation. It could be linear, and it could be one linear, one quadratic, and it could be what fractional simultaneous equation, depending on the case. But this morning I want to start with linear simultaneous equation where we have two unknowns. Don't forget, we have many methods of solving simultaneous equation. But in the course of this lesson, we are going to limit our method to elimination method and substitution method. Don't forget, you can still use graphical method to solve. In fact, you can use matrix and determinant. Uh, you can use matrix and determinant method and so on. So, if you have a problem like this, I know you have done this in your SS2. I'm just taking you uh, just to remind you of the, the thing you have done so far. So, if you look at this, we have to find the value of x and y. If 3x minus 5, 5 plus 5 is equal to 0, and 4x minus 7y plus 8 is equal to 0. The first thing to do is that we can rearrange, we can rearrange the given problem so that we can have 3x minus 5y is equal to minus 5, we call this equation 1, and so also we have 4x minus 7y is equal to minus 8, equation 2. Now, you look at these two equations, and don't forget, the method we intend to use is elimination method. In elimination method, what this method says is that you need to eliminate one of the unknown. That is, you either eliminate x or you eliminate y. So in this case, suppose I want to eliminate x. I will make sure the coefficient of x in the two equations are the same. So if the, two, if the coefficient of x in the two equations are the same, then I can easily subtract. I can easily subtract so that they can cancel out. So to make the coefficient of them to be, zero, to be the same, what I will do is to multiply equation 1 by 4 and multiply equation 2 by 3. So if I do that, I'm going to have, if I multiply this by 4, I'm going to have what? 12x minus what? 20y is equal to what? Minus 20. And similarly, here we have 12x. If I multiply this by 3, I have minus 21y is equal to what? Minus 24. So I can now subtract. I can now subtract. If I subtract 12x minus 12x, I will have 0. Minus 20y minus minus because it's as if you have minus here because you want to subtract the two. So if you do that, you have what y to be equal to a minus 20 minus minus 24, and that is plus 4. So our y is equal to 4. So if y is equal to 4, you can substitute for y in any of the equation. Suppose I want to use equation 1, I will say that so substitute. For what? Y equal to 4 and equation 1. Don't forget, equation 1 said I have 3x minus 5. Y is 4 is equal to minus 5. Then you open the bracket. You have what? 3x minus 20 is equal to minus 5. If you collect that time, you have 3x is equal to minus 5 plus 20. And that means 3x is equal to what? Is equal to 15. So if we divide both sides by 3, all over 3, this and this we go. That means our x is equal to 5. So in this case, we have been able to establish that y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 5. Example 2. Don't forget, the method we are using so far is what? Elimination method. So I want to solve the second example. Example 2. We are told to find the value of x and y if 2y minus x is equal to 4 
and 2y plus f is equal to 6. Solution. If you look at this, you discover that you don't need to multiply any of the two equations by any number because if you like, you can add the two equations. If you add the two equations together, that x will disappear because you have minus x in the first equation, you have plus x in the second equation. By the time you add them together, they vanish. And another way is that you can see subtract. If you subtract, you have two y in the first equation, you have two y in the second equation. If you subtract that equation one from equation two, you are still going to add y will also vanish. So you are liberty to do anything. You can either add in this case or subtract as the case may be. So here we have 2y minus x is equal to 4. This is equation 1. 2y plus x is equal to 6. This is equation 2. So if you add this together, you have this plus this will be what? 4y is equal to this plus this will be 0. And that is equal to 10. So if you divide both sides by 4, all over 4, this and this will go. y is equal to 5 all over 2. Or 2 number 1 over 2. So if that is your y, then you can substitute. You can substitute the value of y in any of the equations to get the value of x. So I will say solve for y equal to 5 or you have 2 and equation 1. If I do that, I have 2 into bracket 5 all over 2 minus x is equal to 4. 2 here and 2 here we go. I have 5 minus x is equal to 4. So that I have minus x is equal to minus 1. Because by the time you transfer this to the other side, you have 4 minus 5, which is called minus 1. So divide this side by minus, you have x is equal to 1. So that means that y is equal to 5 over 2 and x is equal to 1. The third example. The third example, example three. We are asked to find the value of P and Q if two P plus two Q is equal to 2 and 5p minus 3q is equal to what? 29. That's what we are given. So, solution to this. Solution to this, we have 2p plus 2q is equal to 2. Then I have, if I like, I can divide this by 2 because 2, 2, 2 is common. So that I can have p plus q is equal to 1. I call it equation 1. The second equation is 5p minus 3q is equal to 29. This is equation 2. Why did I decide, why did I divide this by 2? Because I saw that the coefficient of P, Q here, 2 is common to all the parts. So I can easily divide. If I divide this by 2, I have, if I divide this by 2, I have Q. If I divide this by 2, I have 1. Here, I don't need to divide by any number. Because there is no number that can divide all this without a remainder. So if I have that, to so subtract or to add, what I need to do is that I can multiply equation 1 by 3. So that we have 3p plus 3q is equal to 3. So that I can now have, why am I using 3? Because I have minus 3q here. And at the time I multiply this equation by 3, I can easily have the two equations together. The result of this and this, we add them together, q will vanish. And that is the idea. So I will say multiply equation 1. Multiply equation 1 by 3 and add it with equation 2. If I do that, I'm going to have 3p plus 3q is equal to 3. And equation 2 is what? 5p minus 3q is equal to 29. 
So I can now add this plus this will give me what? 8p. This plus this will be 0 is equal to what? 32. By the time I divide 2 by or both sides by 8, this and this will go. P will be equal to what? 4. So this plus this will be 8. This plus this will go be 0. This plus this will be what? 32. If I divide both sides by 8, I will have P to be equal to 4. Then the next thing is to substitute for P equal to 4 in any of the equation. So, for P equal to 4 in equation 1, if I do that, I have 4 plus Q is equal to 1. That means Q is equal to 1 minus 4 and Q is equal to 1 minus 2. So that is A. So, that is that. Divide that. Now, what we have done so far, the three examples that we have solved so far, we want to look at the other method, that is substitution method to solve them. So I think we wanted to use substitution method. How are we going to do that? And that's the next topic. For the next subtopic, I'll say sub t to shun method. So example one. So, so 3x minus 5y plus 5 equal to 0, 4x minus 7y plus 8 equal to 0, using substitution method, using substitution method. So if I want to use substitution method to solve that example one that we have solved using the initial method before, so how will I go about that? I, in substitution method, what I need to do is that I will make one of the unknown the subject of the formula, and I'll, I'm going to substitute it into the other. So don't forget, we are given 3x minus 5y is equal to minus 5, this is equation 1. We are given 4x minus 7y plus is equal to minus 8, this is equation 2. Now, from equation 1, I know that my 3x is equal to what? Minus 5 plus 5y. So if I divide both sides by 3, to make x the solution formula, that means that I'm going to have this over 3, this over 3. So this and this will go. I have x is equal to what? Minus 5 plus 5y all over 3. I will now substitute this in equation 2. Don't forget, you don't need to substitute that in equation 1. If you do that, you will probably get 0. So you don't need to do that. So you need to substitute that in equation 2 because it was equation 1 that gave us this. So substitute for x in equation 2. So, for x in equation 2, so if I do that, I have 4, open the bracket, minus 5 plus 5y all over 3, close the bracket, minus 7y is equal to minus 8. That's what we have. So, the next thing is that if I like, I can open the bracket. If I open the bracket, I'm going to have minus 20 all over 3 plus 20y all over 3 minus 7y is equal to minus 8. Is equal to minus 8. So from this, if I collect the light times, I will have 20y all over 3 minus 7y is equal to minus 8 plus 20 all over 3. What I've done here is to transfer this to the other side, huh? and that is that. So from this, this one is similar to over 1. What is the SM of the numerator? The SM of the numerator there is 3.
on my left hand side, the SM of denominator is 3. So if I have 3, 3 and 3, 1, 3 times 20, what? I have 20, what? Minus 1 and 3, 3, 3 times 7, 21, that means minus 20, 21, what? 21 minus 21, y is equal to, on the other side, this one is same as over 1, and the SM of this is 3, 3, I have 3 over, that is minus 24, then plus 20, plus 20. If you like, you can cross multiply, but it's as good as wasting your time. 3 and 3 are the numerator, they can cancel out. And what you are going to have is what? 20y minus 21y is equal to minus 24 plus 20. So if you subtract this, you have minus y is equal to minus 4. You might both have a minus or multiple that by minus y is equal to 4. So you can now solve 2 for y equal to 4 in any of the any of the equation, you get the value of x. So I say sub t two for y equal to 4 and equation 1. So that we now have 3x minus 5 into bracket 4 is equal to minus 5. So I have 3x minus 20 is equal to minus 5. I have 3x is equal to 15 and x is equal to 5. Don't forget, if you just go to the other side, you plus 20. And that means you have 15. And that is fine. So that is that. And which is the same thing with what we've got when we are solving this. So the second example that we saw, that we have solved earlier, we want to use substitution method to solve it. Example 2. Example 2. Solve 2y minus x equal to 4. 2y plus x equal to 6. Using substitution method. Because it's good to know the method. Because an examiner may decide the method or he may specify the method he, want, he wanted. Because I saw it in 217 first question on that for that equation where they were asked to use method of completing the square to solve a particular problem. So if you are the one that limited yourself to only factorization method or the use of general method, that means you get zero in that year. So please take note. Try to know the two methods. So I want to use substitution method to solve this. Don't forget that we are giving 2y minus x is equal to 4. This is equation 1. And we are giving 2y plus x equal to 6. This is equation 2. From equation 1 or from equation 2, if I want to make x the solution of formula, I will retain this, I will retain x, I will transfer 2y to the other side. That means x is equal to 6 minus 2y. So I will now solve 2 for x. 2 minus 6 minus 2y. So I will now say solve for x and equation 1. Because it was equation 2 that gave me that. So I must substitute it in equation 1. So that means that equation 1 becomes 2y minus, open the bracket, 6 minus 2y is equal to 4. And that means 2y minus 6 plus 2y is equal to 4. That means 4y is equal to 10. 2y plus 2y, 4y. 4, if this goes to the other side, becomes plus 6, and that is 10. That means y is equal to 5 all over 2. If you divide both sides by 2, or if you divide both sides by 4, you have 10 over 4, which is 5 over 2. And that is that, which is the same thing with what we've got in the other one. So the third one, of course, you can practice that, I will not solve that. Now, we can have... So, the next one is to find the value of x. So I will say solve for y equal to 5 over 2, and equation 2. To obtain the value of x, that means we have 2 open the bracket 5 over 2 uh -huh, plus x is equal to 6. This and this we go. I uh, have 5 plus x is equal to 6. That means x is equal to 1. 
So that is that. So that means y is equal to 5 over 2 and s is equal to 1. So the third question that I solved in my example 3 using elimination method, you can also practice that using substitution method. You still get the same answer as usual. So that is that. So the area, the fourth example I want to look at, whether substitution or no substitution, is when we have an equation in form of equilibrium such that you have three expressions equal to one another to form an equation. So if you have that situation, how are you going to go about it? I think you will see it in some past questions. They are also common. So I will call it example four. Because it depends on your choice. If you like that you substitution method, you like except if they state it. So I will call it example four. Example four. Find the value of x and y in the expression x plus y plus 2 all over 2 is equal to x plus y all over 4 and this is equal to 2x plus y plus 1 all over 3 If you have a problem like this, what you need to do is that you pick these two, you solve them, then after that you pick the second two. What am I saying? Solution. The first two. The first two we have x plus y plus 2 all over 2 is equal to x plus y all over 4. That is the first one. Just have it at the back of your mind that the one that you are picking it twice. That's it. You are picking the first two after that the second, the next two. So if you have this, you can cross multiply. If you cross multiply, you have, you are going to have 4 open the bracket x plus y plus 2 is equal to 2 open the bracket x plus y now 2 can go 2 can divide both sides if 2 divide both sides we are going to have 2 open the bracket x plus y plus 2 is equal to x plus y and from this you can open the bracket you are, if you open the bracket you are going to have 2x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to x plus y so if you collect that time, this will come here, it will remain x. This will come here, it will remain plus y. This will go to the other, that will go to the other, it will go to minus 4. Call this equation 1. That's the first equation. Also, also, we will pick the next two. We will pick the next two, we are going to have x plus y all over 4 is equal to 2x plus y plus 1 all over 3 so you cross multiply as usual you are going to have 4 into bracket 2x plus y plus 1 is equal to 3 into bracket x plus y so by the time you open the bracket you have 8x plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 3x plus 3y you will collect the light times 8x, you subtract 3x from 8x, you are going to have 5x. You have 4x uh, minus 3x, that means, I mean, 4y here, 3y here. If 3y comes to the other side, it becomes minus 3y. That means you, have, you are left with plus y. It's equal to minus 4. This is equation 2. So you can now solve the two equations depending on the method that you want. Don't forget, equation 1 is x plus y is equal to minus 4. This is equation 1. If I subtract equation 1 from equation 2, that means I want to use elimination method. I will say subtract. Subtract. 
1 from 2. Now, how to do that? This minus this will give me 4x. This minus this will be 0. This minus this will give me what? That is minus 4 minus minus 4. That means minus 4 plus 4, which is 0. That means my x will be equal to 0. So I'm going to say solve for x equal to 0 in equation 1. If I solve for x equal to 0 in equation 1, that means my y is equal to minus 4. So y is equal to minus 4 plus. We don't need to waste our time on that because x plus x 0 plus y is equal to minus 4. That means y is equal to minus 4. And that is that about that. The last example. The last example, because the one we saw here was in the form of fraction. You can have it in linear, and that is example 5. Find the value Find the value of T and S in the expression 2T minus 3S minus 9 is equal to 3t plus 5s minus 4 and is equal to 4t minus 2s minus 14 so if, if that is the case solution to this we pay the first two we have 2t minus 3s minus 9 is equal to 3t plus 5x minus 4 so we can solve this we we'll collect the light times you have 2t minus 3t minus 3s minus 5x is equal to minus 4 plus 9 so this is minus t minus 8s is equal to 5 Equation 1. Equation 1. So this 2t is here. This will come to this here minus 3t. Then this and this is here. If this comes to that minus 5, that means it's minus 8. And this one is minus 3. And it's equal to what? 5. Also, if you pick the other side, also. The other side, put this one, 3t plus 5s minus 4 is equal to what? 4t minus 2s minus 14. So we collect the other, you have 3t minus 4t plus 5s plus 2s is equal to what? Minus 14 plus 4. Because if that minus 4 goes to the other, it becomes plus 4. And this is what minus t. This and this is plus seven s. And this is equal to what minus ten. Equation two. So we can now solve the two equation simultaneously. So using admission method, I will say solve one. Solve equation one and two using elimination method by subtracting by subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 so you want to subtract equation 1 from equation 2 Not to survive the one from the that means equation 2 will be at the top. So don't forget our equation 2 is what? Minus t plus 7s is equal to minus 10. Our equation 1 is minus t minus 8s is equal to 5. So I want to subtract. Don't forget, I'm subtracting the two equations directly because the coefficient of t. In equation 1 and equation 2 are the same. In equation 1, coefficient of t here is minus 1. In equation 2, coefficient of t here is minus 1. If I subtract them from one another, t will vanish. It becomes 0. I don't need to multiply by any number before subtracting. Take note. 
So if I do that, this will go this minus minus this, I will have 15x is equal to this minus this, I will have minus 15. So if I divide both sides by 15, all over 15, our s will be equal to what? Our s is equal to 1, minus 1, minus 1. So substitute, I can have substitute for x in any of the equation that is. So for x equal to minus 1 in equation 1. If I do that, I will have minus t minus 8 into bracket minus 1 is equal to 5. I have minus t plus 8 is equal to 5. I have minus t is equal to what? Minus 3. So t is equal to 3. Because 5 minus 6 will be minus 3. So t is equal to 3. So that is that about that. Inshallah, assignments relating to this. Was a simultaneous equation. Today we have been able to successfully treat a simultaneous equation using elimination method and substitution method. I mean linear simultaneous equation. So on Wednesday when we meet each other, we are going to look at the same simultaneous equation that involves fraction. Or we call it fractional simultaneous equation. Inshallah. Subhanahu wa bika. 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 Subhanahu wa bika.